<laughs> Shazam! No. <laughs> Tis the season to sit around the table with all your family members that throughout a majority of the year you would like to Not basically to. strangle and you spend very little time talking to them at all unless a holiday comes around. You sit there and you stuff yourselves completely retarded, tell your aunt how good her pumpkin bread is, and then turn around and go to the kitchen and bitch with the other women about how damn dry it is. Yes. Or just drink beer. Thanksgiving. The day you're supposed to be grateful and thankful for everything you have. Once a year. I, I hate Thanksgiving. It is not my favorite holiday. It happens to also be my birthday. Well, this year, it happens to fall on your Every birthday. Every four years. Every four years. Aren't you just a lucky ducky? I hate Thanksgiving. However, the movie we have decided to show is not for a Thanksgiving special or anything. But no. it, because it being November, uh, Tara happened to have came across this movie that was released last year. Uh, last year? No, two years ago. Uh, this 2019. One, this one came out in 2019. Yes. Um, it is part of the Hulu Into the Dark series. Each month they present a new horror movie that correlates with whatever holidays are that month. That month. Which the I... Month. Me? Well, Which my I find, brain was going too fast. I find it, very interesting that for each month because, uh, you know, I'm obviously looking forward to like... Yes! With... March being leprechauns, and then you have the New Year's, and... Well, and how many, aside from the Thanksgiving, how many Thanksgiving horror movies are there? Not very Not, not very, very many. stinking many. I mean, Halloween really seems to dominate that. Well, of course. Christmas is catching up. Could, yeah, Christmas is a December area is another one for the creepy, dark... Yeah. Valentine's Day has theirs going because, you know, you have the psycho girlfriends and psycho boyfriends that love you just a little too much. There, there are even Easter Bunny ones. <laughs> and I gotta say, I have seen some <laughs> Easter ones that... Were pretty good. They were a little freaky. They're, what was it? Uh, we watched one that was a whole bunch of shorts. It was an anthology. Yeah. Uh, and there was the Easter Bunny and the little girl who stayed up and saw the Easter Bunny. I can't remember what the title of that one was, but yeah. I know that one freaked me was, out a little cool. bit. Like that vision of how they created the Easter Bunny freaked me out a bit. Nope, this time we're going to uh, discuss a Thanksgiving one. The, the Pilgrim. Yes, this the one Pilgrim. is The Pilgrim. And again, it is part of the Into the Dark series on Hulu. I believe they said there's like 14 of them. Now this, uh, beginning of this movie is very slow starting, but as it goes and progresses about halfway point, it really starts to jump into what the situation has become. Yes. However, in the beginning, you have your very, uh, seems like very rich family, very, um... They're definitely well off. Yes. Uh, wanting for very little to nothing. In which the mom, who is the stepmom in the current family, uh, the they have a young son together. However, there's the uh, from his first marriage. Yes, the, uh, the oldest daughter, Cody, played by Rain Edwards. And she was excellent. epic. Yeah, she did an awesome job playing the older she sibling. Was, she was an also, old. Yeah, she was the elder sister. Probably had, I'd say, a good ten, 10 years. years at least on on the little yeah. boy. And Loved the hell out of her brother, took good care of him, and I'd almost say she probably paid more attention to the, to the brother absolutely. than the mom paid attention to her own son. Well, in, in, in the movie, they very quickly show you what is most important to each family member. Oh, yeah, they set the, that the, up really fast. The mom was the image to the rest of the you know housewives. Head of HOA type stuff, and everything starts with her hosting yes. an HOA party. In which the dad is the typical stock broker drinker constantly on his tablet and phone constantly checking stocks always which working that makes his money is stock so he's very obsessed into that and then you have the daughter that is your typical she's your typical moody daughter you know but not she, too bad they didn't no. overdo it which i thought was great that she showed she was rational exactly she was an intelligent rational character yep. and she saw things for what they really were but at the same time it showed you a teenage 
It kid. showed you a teenage kid. And what is the big thing with your teenagers? They don't appreciate you. They don't right. appreciate what they have, how hard you had to work for it. And that that appreciation and gratitude and gratefulness Goes it's away. the foundation right. of this entire plot. So the mom ends up talking about how she has hired these pilgrims. Yes. To she, come uh, in and basically uh, basically take over the family for, I think it was supposed to be only like a day. It was supposed to have been, she was under the assumption it was going to be just for Thanksgiving. Right. She's, she hires reenactors that she invites Two. in. Two. Yes, it was supposed to be just a man and a woman. And things kind of take an unexpected turn when these actors refuse to break character. Never break character. And so it kind of starts to weird out the oldest daughter because literally... The they never... It's like going to a renaissance fair. Yes. They never alter their speech. Yep. They never alter their clothing, their behaviors and mannerisms. They stay... I was impressed. It, it was awesome. Well, it ends up coming up where they end up having an extended stay and end up staying at the house. Yes. And they the, showed up early. Yes. And during the is, middle of this HOA party. And this is where things start to take a turn because, again, they're not breaking character. So they are in the Pilgrim era. Yes. Era. And, and they even speak... What is it? They, they tell... Uh, he was telling stories... About coming over on the Mayflower as if he were as, there. As if he had just done it not too long ago. Like, However. The daughter catches him. The daughter catches him. Because he, he said, said trout. Yeah, he said something about catching trout off the Mayflower. And she kind of gets this look like trout's, trout's fresh. fresh water. Yep. That's salt water. And, and little things like that, she does that throughout the movie. Well, it, Very astute for a teenager. The the pilgrims end up splitting up, where the man stays with the main family, and then the woman ends up going. The the, the mom, the host, ends up having the woman pilgrim go to go stay with help one of her, her friends, friend out. Her friend who is a recovered alcoholic. She's a single mother. The son happens to be dating the uh, the, the daughter. daughter of the main family. She she says, "Oh well, this is my gift to you, so that." You don't have to work so hard. You can just relax and have somebody do something for you for once. That's a that's, that's a that's a dick very move. well not just dick it, move right, to right. suddenly put another, another human being some, in your home to right. look after for a few days. I've been like hell no. But that's like, something that when when you first come into the movie during the HOA party, you definitely get a feel of what the stepmother is like. She is all about perception. How does everything look? Do I look like I have the happiest family in the world? Yes. The friends even point out how she's on social media talking about her perfect family and her perfect life all the time. Very salty. Yes. And so as you're watching the movie, and it gets to be about that quarter way into about just over a half, what was first two pilgrims suddenly there's dozens of them and there's an entire family of pilgrims inside of these people's house and they're even building their own buildings yeah like little wood shacks, shacks and contraptions yes. and stuff in their very these strange these people's backyard and it's all uh, and this is what's great is that it's all in front of them but because of their lifestyle it, they literally get away with it oh Removing all the light fixtures in with the candles. house and replacing it with candles. And Little what does thing. the mom say when the the daughter's like, "This is weird." Yeah. Mom goes, "Oh no, no! It's to make it authentic." And the daughter picks up on this thing. No like, one's removing my light bulbs for authenticity. N not for candles, no. No. The daughter picks up on this way early and you know, does that suspicious, like, watch them because one, the male pilgrim is, like, sneaking into the boy, the little boy's room and reading him, like, scriptures Bible from the scriptures Bible. scriptures. And, and just telling him, yeah. telling him stories that, which, again, she picks up on that are fake info. And do we want to do spoilers of the end? We can do some spoilers. Throughout the whole movie, as I had stated, gratefulness is the foundation of this plot. And the main pilgrim, uh, played by Peter Giles... Is like the cult leader. Oh, he is. But he continually sits there and points out, you're not thankful for this. You have so much, but you're not grateful. You don't see what you have. If everything would be taken from you, would you then be grateful? 
And Which that's, you and that's see where his, this is going. And that's his thing is that if I take everything from you at the end, would you be grateful? Long story short, these family members end up being basically tortured. Yep. All but the son. Yes, the son was left Because let's, let's put it this way. First off, we had discussed how children are impressionable. So when he was pointing out that he was thankful for this, that he appreciates that, the, As a child, they're innocent. Right, and and the the main pilgrim told the other pilgrims that he is basically has a free pass. He's been saved to leave him he alone. He gets it. Yes. Now again, I get that it's a horror movie, but nobody wants to sit and watch a child be, be tortured. tortured. No. So I can yeah. understand why that was kind of written out, if that was possibly some of the reasoning. Now the end dinner. The, 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 dinner. the dinner. Oh my! You have mother and daughter. Well, mother and stepmother and daughter. Dad's yeah. nowhere to be found. And it's the final dinner to teach them their lesson on gratefulness. Where After we, having branded them, whipped them while they were dunked, stuck in the stocks, dunked. they put the daughter in the catapult-like thing and dunked her into the pool oh, until she which, was almost out of and, breath. And we even did a video on this way back when we did the torture device. Uh, segment. Yeah, the, it, they did it like it was perfectly designed the way that the old school torture device was. Everything and, looked very authentic. I really liked that. The family's pool in the backyard, and so my only issue was because of how loud they were all outside during this torturing. They live in HOA heaven, yeah. and you're telling me at night with it being pitch black out with all this screaming and stuff going on that cops have been called like, come on. How was Campus security not brought in. That was my unless only... it was one of those things where you did get from the party. The mother was really not that well liked. She wasn't liked. Yeah, she really was not. She was basically a. She was basically a Karen. Yeah, she was. A she put really up was with person because it was still again part of the HOA. Very stuff. nose yeah. in the air kind of person. But the the th the dinner was the best part of the movie, and they broke it down and and. A lot of violent actions started happening. Uh, it started with them prepping the dinner. Yes. After the mom and the daughter have been tortured, yes. they're brought inside and told to help prepare the meal. One is shucking corn, and the daughter is to grind up berries. Now, we were talking about how the movie moves a little slow at the beginning. There are snippets yes. during those slow times that are going to suddenly make a lot of sense. At the end, as long as you're paying attention, they, it, and we caught this, like we even talked about it, like yeah. the little things here and there. And again, like you said, at the it end of the movie. It does start to come back. Yes. The scene, so the daughter has convinced them that she's thankful. Yes. She's grateful. Finally. She appreciates. After many a times of torture and stuff. The ice pick. Best scene Throughout the entire movie. Best throughout the movie. Um, so Pilgrim Man has his Pilgrim Wife. This is played by Elise Levesque, I believe is how you pronounce it. And throughout the entire movie, she's a badass. You can just, she has she that aroma. She oozes it. Yeah, she just she has that. She is a tough girl. Yeah, and like crazy at the same time. This stage. scene proves it. The daughter picks up the ice pick and goes for the Pilgrim. Pilgrim puts her hand up. Right through the hand into the temple. And they even show it like sticking out. And this pilgrim chick pulls it out and goes about her business. Like, and it it was awesome. Epic. Yeah. Absolutely epic. And then she goes to try to look for the little boy as she's got blood coming off of her face. Well, that's after the dinners. Y yeah. But so from there, then conscious... they go to the final sit down yeah. dinner. That's how badass she was, though. Is that in the, she thought she heard somebody else, and she just gets up and goes yep. walking through the house and shit. Like, it was so cool. Very well so, played. So, this whole time, you're given an inkling as to what happened to Daddy. Well, at dinner, you find out what happened to Daddy. Yep. They bring out their main entree. You know, the beautiful lift the lid off type of thing. Very fancy schmancy. And I called it. Yep. I knew exactly it, what it was. I called it. As soon as we saw it, we were like, yep. It was Daddy's head. Yep. And which the, the pilgrims are cannibals. Yes. Very cannibalistic. And which is funny because, and even you and I talked about it, is that for being how, trying to show people how grateful you need to be, yeah. they were so... 
They were very Sinful. gluttonous. Yeah, they're gluttony. They were reek. supposed to be... Pilgrims were supposed to be very pious. Yeah. And these were extremely gluttonous beings. And you really got that vibe of how unhinged this From, group of people really were absolutely. as they were consuming dinner. And he points out, don't spare the berries. And you see, as he says that, you see this look on the daughter's face come across. And it made no sense at first. All of a sudden, she kind of got this confidence and cockiness about her. Right. That will make sense within Later a few on. moments as to why she was quite pleased that they went for the baby. And again, you could the little things like that you could definitely pick up on, in which we talked about as the movie went on. Yes, yes. Uh, the best... The best line out of the whole movie prior to Daddy being killed was when they all decide to work together. The daughter comes in, oh, yeah. she rescues her stepmom and her dad from the stocks where they yep. have been beaten and branded. And somebody tries to catch them. They beat this humongous big dude. Hulking dude. It took big, three of them. They beat dude. him to death. And what does dad say? Did we just no, are we murderers? Did we just did we just murder somebody as a family? Are we, are we murderers? <laughs> did we just murder someone as a family? Did we just kill someone as a family? Together? It, that to it me, was funny. That was one of the best lines <coughs> through the whole movie. There was a couple of things near the end of the movie that were kind of slapstick. There was some slapstick, wasn't there? Here and there, there's probably about four or five of them near the end of the movie. I think just to have that comedy aspect in which it was funny and it didn't really make sense with how serious the movie was but however it was funny the seriousness kind of did a flippity flop throughout yeah the like just as it's really really building there's something some, funny happened there's some slapstick in there and you're it kind of threw me off a little bit like but it made that final build at supper before they removed the lid yeah it made that tension build almost euphoric it, it was awesome it was a great movie yep. i honestly really do recommend seeing this one i will definitely watch it again i'm giving it a four yes i will i will put that at a four myself absolutely totally i recommend. definitely will uh, the, um no we did try to find it on prime because prime had it you know for weeks and yeah then we, and then all of a sudden it wasn't there yep uh, but hulu uh has the pilgrim yes and uh i definitely advise watching it yes absolutely. and we are going to be looking into Watching some of the other uh, Into the Dark series. Yep. I'm I'm quite interested to see that just because there are so many holidays that Coming go that they go especially. unlooked as as being possibly a scary holiday. Halloween isn't the only oh, out there. Right. I mean, it's, it's the only oh, for me, but it's favorite one. But yeah, I definitely recommend this one. Again, Absolutely. slow moving but worth the wait. And we've got our uh, Thanksgiving special one coming out yep. this next week. And then, Josh, as as you recommended a movie, we're going to be starting to do our recommendation movies in December. Yep. Moving forward, we've got seven of them right now that we're going to be mixing into our December videos. Uh, but, Josh, yours was the first one. Yours will be the number one or yes. the first one that we do. Yes, so. we will definitely be getting to that one. Uh, I read up on it and looked at looked at some of the stuff online. Really good pick. I'm really excited to see that one. So. If you have seen any of the Into the Dark uh, segments on the Hulu channel, let us know. Let us know which ones were really good, so that you know, even if we even if we don't review them, still we still can enjoy them. So yeah, thank, thank you very much. We're thank. grateful <laughs> and appreciative. That's right. Thank you guys for joining us. You all have very pleasant nightmares. Nom, 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 nom. Nom, 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 nom. Do you want me to put this down? Do you want to put it down? It's not particularly low. Okay.